guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Restorations. Check it out. I've gotten a lot of questions about the X431 Pro Elite. A lot of them having to do with programming keys and programming uh, remotes. So I figured I'd walk you through it. I've got here a 2010 Toyota Sienna, and I'm just going to walk you through the process. You know, every car is going to be different. Uh, some vehicles will need the immobilizer programming module. This one here and most won't need that. Um, so let's go into local diagnosis and I'll walk you through. We've got an Asian vehicle here and we are going for Toyota. And this is software that's current as of today. I'm filming this last week of January in 2024. All right, we're here in the U.S. And programming these things can be quite easy with a tool like this. So I hope you guys enjoy this. A lot of questions on this. And of course, I don't know every single car, every single make, every single model. But what I can tell you is that, um, you know, for the most part, the, the work will be done pretty much like what I'm about to walk you through here. It's a great little tool. It's a little smaller than the uh, SV Pro 3, which is what I use day to day at the shop. But I've got this one here. So we're going into special function. It's going to look at all the functions that we got here. And this will take a minute or two as it scans through. It's just looking like, what is your car equipped with? What is available? You know, what can we do to it? Because some cars are, you know, like, well, let's see. I don't even know if they still make it, but I'm thinking back. We had a Toyota Sienna CE, which was like the base, base, base model, cloth seats, manual seats. Um, did have power locks and power windows, but that was about it. The one I'm working on here is an XLE, which is literally the most loaded. It's a limited edition as well, has adaptive laser cruise, power seats, memory seats, traction control, stability control, power everything, power doors, I mean, you name it. So this one here has all the doodads of 20, uh, 2010 vehicle would have. It even has the optional uh, DVD driven GPS menu, which I, I love that thing. This thing is still pretty uh, competent here, even in 2024, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. And of course, this one has some stuff, throttle resets, oil light resets. But for today, we're interested in key programming and a mobilizer. So we will do key registration, and that's what we're going to mess with here. It says, use this function to register a new transponder code. So I've got two new keys cut for this car. Of course, the car is running right now uh, with the one working key. This function registers a new transponder code by inserting a new key. Please follow the prompts. Welcome to the transponder code registration wizard. This function is used to register keys. Press OK. Step 103, remove key from key cylinder. Insert key. And turn the ignition on and then wait 120 seconds. OK. Remove master key. We're doing that. Insert key you want to program within 10 seconds. Press OK. Here it says, now registering. So you can see, I mean, there was a couple of, of uh, time restrictions. Hey, it, it, you got to do this within a few seconds or it defaults back to whatever it was, but I mean, it's working, or at least it appears to be. We'll see here in a second. And I'll go through this again with the uh, second key in case the camera didn't catch the angle quite right. The key should now start the vehicle. Press, press OK to start another key. Well, before we do anything, let's see if it starts. Hey, look at that. It works. Awesome. So there's our new key. Here is our old key that actually had a Toyota on. I'm going to go through it one more time with you because I do have another blank key here. And so we're going to go ahead and stick the Toyota key back in and we'll start the car. Okay. And we'll start from scratch again just so you understand how this works. Hopefully, I want to make sure that the camera's catching all this. Key registration function is here. Welcome to the transponder code registration. Here's my new key. Car is running with the old key. Press OK to proceed says remove key from cylinder, put key back in cylinder, turn ignition on, and press OK. Remove master seat cylinder from here and press OK. 
So that one's out. Now put the key in, do not turn the ignition on and press OK. And there it is, it's registering the new key. So that is how simple it is. For those of you who are interested in watching how this process works, not a whole lot to it. It's gonna count down a few minutes. Actually, it usually takes less than a minute to program on this and it'll be done. I'll make a separate video and I'll put that out in a week or two that'll also show how to program new key fobs. That's another trick I'll teach you here with this great tool from launch. So stick around for that as well. But let's, let's go ahead and finish this one up. There it is. It says master key transponder code registration is complete. The key should now start the vehicle. So here it is. Let's go ahead and insert it. And she's alive. You can see the RPMs kicking up. So that's all there is to it, my friends. Hey, look, it's not a very long video, but it's a hopefully a very helpful one for those of you who are curious if it could be done, how it could be done. Well, there you go, my friends. If you like the video, maybe you'll think about liking it and subscribing. This channel is a mix of new tech like this and old tech like Volkswagen, air-cooled stuff, old lawnmowers, stuff like that. So it's a bit eclectic, but it's pretty cool stuff. If you stick around, there's always something going on that needs fixing at Farpoint Farms. Take care, my friends.